Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? I just got home from like not too long ago from a friend's house. Um, we hanged out, had a good time, and just got out of the house. Got out of the house yesterday. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yesterday, after my wreck, was the first day I worked out, and I just trained bossing. And because I was wanting to strengthen up my shoulder again since that accident, it's at 30%. It's not at 100% where I need it to be to be at again. Right now, I'm just kind of doing body weight exercises, you know, to get the strength back up in it and everything else. And. You're gonna muscle energy to drink because I've been needing energy to drink today for some odd reason. But I'm wearing a uh, uh, Sean G's. I got that motherfucking fed look in church. Um, you can go to this YouTube channel, Sean G Motivation. Um, it was either that Sean G's podcast. Um, very cool dude, um, down to earth. I mean, he's very respectful and. Um, I supported his channel since day one, since he made that channel. And from time to time, I go to his channel, and I'll watch his videos, because he tells it how it is in his talk videos, in his motivation videos, especially the podcast or so. I said, that's the one I really go to more than his calisthenics, because sometimes in life, I need that motivation and on things. And, um, I got me a new car, a Chevy Cruze 2015, four cylinder, turbo, and it is a nice, nice fucking car. And it, it puts my Chevy Equinox to shape. <laughs> I tell you what, that car gets up and goes. And it's just a thing, you know, I'm blessed to have family to look out for me. I'm blessed to have friends to care about me and my well-being and since that wreck the two friends that went with me to the hospital they check up on me every single day just to see how I'm doing and you can't have no more loyal friends than that all my other friends you know yeah they checked up on me but they didn't really check up on me as these two did and cause me I've been there for them. I show up when they need me. They show up for me when I need them. And, you know, that's the thing. I respect people who shows up for me. And I'm there for them. And that's the thing, you know. That's what, to me, when I was doing martial arts, it taught me to show respect. It taught me to, you know, show gratitude and basically how to control yourself in a situation. You know, if you feel like you get mad and you want to punch somebody, it, it taught me a lot to control my anger. Because when I was a kid, I had anger issues. I mean, I had really, really bad anger issues. I mean, just a little something would tick me off and I just... Where I would hit the wall, I punch a hole in the wall all the time, and my grandpa got tired of placing the holes in the wall. And ever since then, as I got older, doing martial arts, from the time I was nine years old, started out in boxing, to went to training with other friends in different styles, and they taught me a lot on what they knew and about fighting. And then I thought, well, I want to expand my knowledge. So I went to a Taekwondo school. I didn't really learn just Taekwondo. I learned a lot of multiple styles over the years. And I combined everything with what I know. That's the reason why I created my own style, my own system called Jeet Kune Kwan. And it's not out there on the market. It's not out there yet on the market. I'm trying to get it out there. I don't compete in tournaments. I don't 
um, do anything tournament wise anymore. I don't believe in tournaments. My self defense is yes, it is traditional martial arts. Yes, um, but I try to apply reality aspects of fighting into the real into traditional training because when you train in traditional martial arts yeah you have the classical movements well I try to get away from the classical movements and what I mean by that in the title of Jeet Kune Do it taught about the cla classical mess that traditional martial arts have it doesn't have the freedom and so that's the reason why I developed Jeet Kune, Jeet Kune Do because it has freedom in martial arts. The jeet, jeet means the way of the fist. Can't means animal style flow. You know, you can like do tire, crane, the snake, um, the eagle. Um, you can do spear hands, stuff like that. Um, knife hands, like dirty fight tactics, headbutts and stuff like that, knee and elbows. Um, you can find all that like uh, gapping over the ears, like kind of like do this on somebody's ears, like palm strike them on their ears and stuff like that. Hair pulling, you know, that's my style. And um, the thing of it is, you know, the reason why I created Chicken Fawn is I wanted my style to be different than most styles out there. When I was training Alex, the black dude I was training, he didn't really like my style that I was doing. He said it was too more of aggressiveness. And I said, well, what do you mean? And too aggressive. And I fight to fight dirty. And that's what I told him. And the only thing he didn't like was when if somebody threw a punch, throw another punch. I did that movement on him and I told him to say, come at me with punches. I said with full force. And so, whoop, whoop, and I went like, bam. And I kind of like intertwined his hands and then I act like I was doing a headbutt on him. And I didn't hit him or not with my head, but he said he felt like he could do nothing in that because it was so aggressive because I had his hands trapped. And and I said, well, you never know in a fight, in an actual fight. You never know where your hands are going to be at. you got to be open-minded and hit with new areas of targets. And he was used to doing boxing. You know, yeah, boxing is a great great way to get in shape. Don't get me wrong. I told him that. I said, I love boxing. I love boxing a lot. Uh, boxing is my number one style. I study it a lot now. More than any style, uh, any other style there is. Uh, but... I do practice on my karate and my, my taekwondo at the same time. I blend it all together. So that's the reason why I call it the Jeet Kune Kwan Method. And because I have two striking arts and one kicking art, which is the Kwan is from Taekwondo. So by combining from what I learned from MMA, I combine what I learned from Krav Maga, I combine what I learned from Wing Chun. When I took the two months course, one month course, not two months, but one month course in Wing Chun, um, I took a two month course in Krav Maga. It was a master's course. I took that, and I studied Brazilian Jiu Jitsu on the side with with some friends, and but I don't train with them friends anymore because they were trying to. Um, be my sensei, and I, I didn't want no sensei. I didn't I didn't want no teacher or nothing. I just wanted to go out there and do do what I can learn to adapt to any certain cert, certain cert situation. And that's what my sensei told me when my first sensei told me. He said, "Whatever you do, do not get another sensei before me, and never call him sensei." He said, I am your real sensei. And I said, oh, yes, sir. And I said, I never called it. Every person I got taught, I never called them sensei. 
and they asked me how come, and I said, because my I made a promise to my very first sensei in in karate, old school karate, that I got up to my first three black belt in taekwondo. He got me up there. I made a deal with him, and he decided to. He decided to um, retire of teaching after I got up to my first grade black belt. And I, taught, I saw him the other day out in public and I asked him, hey man, can you give me your number? Would you like to come down to train? Um, teach me some new things on what I could probably learn from you. And he said, I poured all my knowledge in you. And he said, you learned everything that I've taught you. And, and he says, I could tell you are in shape. And so, everything I do in life evolves with martial arts concept. Because when I'm at work, I treat everybody with respect. That's how come everybody likes me. And I might not know what to talk about, you know, to people. But if they come up to me, carry on a conversation, yeah, I'll stop and listen. I'll stop and listen and talk to them and, you know, try to make them laugh if they're having a bad day. Um, try to put a smile on their face if they're down about something, whatever, you know, it's just whatever it is. And, you know, that's the whole thing I love about martial art community, you know, it teaches you to be humble with yourself and with others around you because I think that's a lot of time, a lot of people in the tendency to forget what martial art is truly about. And sometimes I forget that myself too. And, that, and that's the thing. And when you end up realizing you know, if you show respect, be honest, honest, honest uh, to people and everything, they show respect to you. And what I, what I mean by that, because respect and being honest comes a long way in, in, in life and in self. And because me, when I was on my wreck, I was honest to a police officer. I, I told him, I said, yes, I was speeding a little bit. I went around that corner too fast. I hydroplane, lost control, and I said I was deep in thought. I didn't see that corner on, on coming up, and I, I was honest about everything. And he said, "Okay." He says, "I like that." He said, "He shook my hand on that," and he said, "You're all right." He says, "I'm gonna let you off with a ticket," and he said, "You know, just kind of watch your speeds." watch the speed signs so for now on that's what I do I watch my speed and so now way because I now way I don't wreck my new car that I have now so and, and that's another thing about martial arts it teaches you lessons that you don't make the same the same mistake as you did before because in martial arts it teaches you how to be perfect try to be perfect in any, in any way but you know you're not perfect because there's only one human being in the, in the earth, on, in the whole universe is perfect as God. But you try to live up to his expectation if you believe in God yourself. But the thing with this, um, the thing with this, martial arts is, to me, probably the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. And, and you know, I never really did any sports in school. I never really did, um... Uh, I mean, I did weightlifting when I was in school, and some of the guys, they all say, hey, Seth, you want to come weightlift with us? And what I would do, I will do dumb dumbbells and stuff like that, you know, just get my arm strength up and stuff. And I never did any body weight stuff at the time. And so one day, I uh, did bench press. One of my buddies was like, dude, you're going to bench press that? And I, I said, what is it set on? And he said, it's set on 150. And so I'm like, I could try. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. And so he spotted me, and he was impressed. 
I did up to 10 reps on it, and, and I just kind of stopped for a little bit, and I went back to doing curls, and then my other exercises, and then I kind of hit the bench press again, he spotted me again, and he's like, dang, he's like, you're, you're, you're fucking strong, you know, for what you've been through, and he's like, how do you do it, and I said, well, I said, I told myself once I got better from my back surgery, you know, I start taking better care of myself, and, and that's the thing, you know, when you have friends that work out, you know, that like to lift weights, and, you know, someone that knows about weightlifting, and they taught me a lot of aspects of weightlifting and how to do things. A lot of it I kind of learned on my own over the years while I was doing martial arts. Even my sensei kind of taught me a lot about weightlifting. Um, they had weights in the gym where I was training at, and sometimes I'll use, like, karate movements into the weightlifting. Like, if I'm doing, like, 10 pound curls, I might, like, practice doing like a reverse punch with the weight and or I might like practice like karate blocks with with the weight and stuff like that to make it stronger and and stuff but um but the thing of it is um most of the time most people think martial arts is about fighting and Really, martial arts, yes, it is, it's, it does stay martial, it is for military combat, it means going to war, and, but the thing with this, martial arts is a form of self-defense, yes, you can defend yourself to do it, but you can't really use it on anybody, you can, but you get, you get charges and everything else, so, that's the thing with martial arts. Today, a lot of people think, oh, you can do anything with anybody nowadays. No, you can't. Um, but the thing it is with me when I train in martial arts, me, I try to avoid conflict. I try to avoid fights. And does that make me weak? No. Um, but would it, if I would ever happen to get backed into a corner where I have nowhere to go, you better bet your ass I will fight back um, because it would be self-defense. Um, but, when, but when it comes to, you know, getting really mad, you know, if somebody's yelling at you, you know, I don't go up to that person and say, hey, I'm going to fight you. You know, I don't challenge fights to people. And because that's against my code. That's against my martial art rules and laws and morals respect. And... A lot of times, you know, a lot of people will say, why do you train every day? Because something I like to do, something, like to, something that I really enjoy doing because it gets my stress levels down, it gets my mind off things, and the most part is, is that a lot of times, um, I've had people try to ask me to teach them and stuff, and they never show, so really technically, I don't really teach anybody unless unless if I decide to feel like they're wanting to learn it, that's the thing. And if they're just saying that it's just kind of just to please me a little bit. They're not really going to do it, you know. If they're really wanting to do it, they would come over here and train with me and stuff like that. And they don't. So that's the reason why I make these YouTube videos. That's the reason why I do things on my own. And I mean, you can train on your own every day and do the same thing over and over and over. Yes, it does get kind of boring because uh, you don't have no one to really interact with, but. If you keep practicing solo, if you keep practicing solo, and no matter what, you will get faster at what you do. You will get better at what you do. And um, you will be able to keep up with your opponent. Because like in that last video that I did in Spartan, Quentin AR, 
one of my buddies, and he was like a first group black belt. I was a first group black belt too, in the same system that he did. And but my way was the karate style way. His way was the taekwondo way, because I used more hands than he, I did feet, and he used more feet than hands. So I did more both than than what he did, and. So, I trained with him that one day. He has not come back to train. I've been trying to get him to train, but he don't want to. I respect him, you know, what he wants. I don't try to force it on him and stuff like that. You know, I respect him like he respects me. And that's how I've come. Me and him became really, really good friends. And um, we just kind of give each other advice on what to do once in a while and what to work on. And when we're together at like at his brother's house for a get together, we'll just get up and just you know work on material sometimes and not really. Man, I'll say, hey man, I want to teach you something. You know that could be useful. And he'll get up and train. With me, you know after we eat and stuff, and he'll get up and do something with me and. On a, on a technique or whatever and, and he'll kind of like it he'll be like dang I like this technique what is it and then I said this is for street fighting and I you know it's just one of those things you know that's the reason why I, martial art has not left me to this day and it's like I feel like I'm kind of married to it in a way, I guess. I don't know. I don't have a relationship with it. But I like martial arts because it teaches me how to be humble toward others and how to stay calm in a more rational, more rational way. Um, and that's the thing. You know, a lot of people kind of go away from and they're saying, oh, I can just kick everybody's ass because they learn martial arts. Right. You can't. And I said, I don't care who you are or what you're about, you cannot do that. And I, I'm so sorry. If you think you can, you're the wrong, you get the wrong sensei and everything else. So, um, but other than that, you know, you don't really have to know all the flash tricks, you know, that you see in the movies or, um, if you see on videos that people do and... To me, I just stay with the basics, and because if you stay with the basics in martial arts, you know, you're staying with the basics in life, and you know, it's just to live, and, and live and survive, and that's what martial art teaches us today, and it's to live, survive, treat others with respect and humbleness and kindness, and be there for one another as they would, uh, as you, and that's how you make friends, that's how you make a community like you and everything else and and that's the thing and that's the reason why I love martial arts in its own way and I tell you what it it does you wonder because you stay in shape doing martial arts and, and that's what I like about martial arts is that it keeps you in shape and if you have something on your mind it helps you get it off of it and or something like that, you know, or if you're having a bad day, it turns it around into a positive day, and it makes you feel good about yourself, doing a sport and everything, and, and if I were you, I would try martial art out, if you have not tried martial art, um, my martial art, I would just prefer you to start trying out as boxing, um, start that one out, and then if you feel like, you feel like you need to learn another art besides boxing, um, the other one would be wrestling, um, even though wrestling is not really an art, but it is in a way because you learn to take people down, learn to tackle them, and stuff like that. Um, same with jiu-jitsu, same with taekwondo, same with karate, muay thai, wing chun, krav maga, whatever style is out there available. Just go and try to learn it, you know, and feel good about doing something healthy for your body and stuff like that. And that's what I'm trying to spread. And yeah, Monster Energy Drink ain't really that healthy, but I needed it today. I was just kind of tired. I stayed up late a little bit last night. Um, 
actually, no. I was t I stayed up all night last night before. Didn't go out hardly getting any sleep. I went to bed about four o'clock in the morning, and then I slept all, all the way till noon. Then I went over to my friend's house. They took me out to dinner that night. Went back, crash, and then I was out the rest of the night. And so. Then I came back home, I got home around 3 o'clock, and so I decided to make this talk video since I'm not really doing much, and I'm probably make another video of the training soon, and I've been trying to do more talk videos, but a lot of people don't really like talk videos, and that, uh, because I don't really stay with one subject in the video, because I try to talk about a little bit of everything, and what's been going on, and to me, I want to say respect comes a long way in martial arts as well because it teaches you respect and being humble, being courtesy, everything, honor, pride, um, count your blessings, you know, all of that. And, and being one with yourself. And that's another way of putting it. And so. There you have it. Please hit the like, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'll see you in the next video. And like I said, peace. And have a good day. God bless you all. And like I said, try a martial art. Go out and study it. And let me know what you think in the comments of what style you study. And um, go from there. That's all I'm saying. Peace.